Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a Robinson coupling. We start off by getting a bottle cap, and uh, we want to put a 10 mil hole through the middle of it. We're just putting a 3 millimeter pilot hole, just so we get the 10 mil one to go straight through the middle. It's always the hard bit getting it in the right spot. Okay, 10 millimeter drill bit. Wear a glove or use a drill press. They don't put it through your finger, and then you put a hole straight through the middle. You want to probably clean it up with a sharp knife afterwards, just to make sure there's no burrs on there. Okay, next thing we do is make some rubber gaskets. We're just using a bike inner tube here, which we've cut a piece out of and cut in half. And we're just using a 10 cent coin here to put a couple of uh, mark out a couple of gaskets. Uh, the 10 cent coin is about 22 millimeters in diameter, but um, yeah, you can have it whatever size you want as long as it fits through the bottle uh, opening. That's the main thing. We also made a third one which is a slightly bigger, which goes between the cap and the bottle itself, but you can make them all the same size. You'll need three of them. Okay, there they are. Now we need to put a hole right in the middle of them slightly smaller than the threaded lamp rod that we use, so maybe about uh, 8 millimeters or thereabouts. So just get it as close as you can. Here we're just cutting a small little semicircle out the middle. And here's all the pieces that we are going to use to put it together. The threaded lamp rod, the gaskets, some tools, a couple of bottles, and a coat hanger. We use a thread lock uh, on one end of the threaded lamp rod. You don't need this, but we, we find it's a little bit easier. That's the one that goes inside the bottle that end. So I only do it on one end, not both ends. Just one drop of it on there and thread on the nut. And the space under underneath the, uh, the nut is where it will hold. Okay, so what we do is we put on the gasket and a, a metal washer onto one end. See there, they're ready to go in. And what we've got to do now is put that inside one of the bottles and that's where the coat hanger comes in handy. Just thread that through straight into the bottle. And that's where you want the gasket not to be too big. It's got to get through there. And don't drop it off the end. Run that through the 10 mil hole in the bottom of the bottle which we've already drilled and it should pop straight through. Okay, now we've got our 40 millimeter socket. We attach to one end. You need some extension bars so it will fit. We put on our gasket between the cap and the bottle. That's slightly bigger, but like I said, the uh, 22 millimeter one will be fine. Then we put on the bottle cap. Then we put on our third gasket. Push that down, our metal washer, and the last nut. And then we just tighten that up. Now the metal washers make the put the pressure evenly against the, the gasket and hold it very much airtight. Okay, we've tightened the one in the cap up a bit. Now we're just going to tighten a little bit more the one inside the bottle. You can see why you need the extension bar. Okay, don't over tighten it, but tight enough, and then one on either end, and you can tighten it till it's not going anywhere. Okay, that's our Robertson coupling connected. See it inside the bottle there. Nice and tight, nothing spins. Now we add the second bottle. Put that in and we will just tighten it by hand. Okay, there you go. There's some close up pictures of it inside the bottle. Okay, and inside the cap. And now the last thing we'll do is just we'll put the nozzle on. It's our standard 9mm Gardena nozzle. Oh, not going to stand up. And we'll just give it a quick pressure test. 
we'll just test to about 25 psi on the bench just to make sure there's no obvious leaks. So um, yeah, don't pressure to don't pressure test to 60 or so on a bench like this. Uh, you, what you probably want to do is hydrostatic test it, fill it with water and, and test it that way. But no leaks, uh, 25 psi, no problems at all. Nice and tight, and we'll just pull it off. And that's the Robinson coupling.